April here in a back alley outside the bottom lounge talking with Symphony X. The alley is definitely the vibe, man. Yeah. This, is, this is about as underground as it gets, I think, what with just chilling back here and dumpster nice. and random garbage and whatnot. But hey, the scenery's cool, man. It's awesome stuff. So, um, I want to talk to you a bit about the neoclassical method, man, the neoclassical technique. Um, you know, it's very interesting to hear um, different sorts of metal bands and metal songs that don't just play loud and fast, but the progressive sound. Um, talk to me about like some of your major influences for creating Symphony X's sound. I mean, it's changed over the years, you know, it definitely has changed. I think in the beginning, because we started in 94, and I think back then, um, me and the keyboard player had a, a lot in common, classical background. And uh, I think that's where a lot of it started. The first couple records had a lot more of the neoclassical thing, a lot more of the early classical, like you know, the Bach influence and stuff. But I mean, I grew up with, you know, Sabbath and Priest, so I was always a metal guy. We had that in common, so that kind of found its way into the music, you know? And I think over the years, um, you know, I just listened to more different things, you know, more modern classical stuff. and. Even film score stuff, you know, like especially with this last record we were, that's coming out in uh, June, um, it's still heavy. I mean, it's still like you know the metal riffs. It's still <laughs> badass. It's like a news program, right? Like, <laughs> there you go, man. Free airtime. <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, like I said, in the past it was more of the of a neoclassical thing mixed in with the metal, and then over the years kind of progressed into some of the more epic stuff and like I said the film track stuff and the last album the new album coming out it has a little bit of this uh, how can I say um, I don't want to say industrial but it's more mechanical kind of vibe underneath so there is a little bit of this classical element still heavy and there's also a little bit of this mechanical more of a modern edgy kind of thing happening you know I think I was listening to like the 300 soundtrack or the Matrix or something, you know, and it's Tyler Bates, yeah. yeah, 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 exactly. I mean, it's definitely gritty. There's some 300 has some guitars and stuff, mm -hmm. and we always try to find something different to do with each record, you know. And this one was it started out like that, you know, kind of hearing some of those soundtracks and be like, oh, that's pretty good, you know. I got some, I got some riffs and maybe try to, you know, dip some of this stuff underneath it, some of this more mechanical um, kind of. Uh, just different elements, you know, different metals and, and different things like that. So that's how this last, the new album kind of evolved into that. Gotcha. Um, after following up Paradise Lost and just dealing with, you know, Serpent's Kiss and all these Milton, Miltonian yeah. sorts of themes, um, what sorts of um, band states of mind do you think drove you to these mechanical sounds that we can expect out of the next album? Uh, well, I mean, every album's different, and every album we try to find something, you know, try to find some, not a concept, but maybe a theme. It's like with Paradise Lost, you know, it was the Milton thing, and the songs were, you know, the good and evil, the battle, the struggle, that kind of thing. And the music the same way, you know, where uh, the riffs were a little darker, and the orchestra stuff was a little more, you know, it was definitely a lot of low register stuff in a male choir, and that kind of thing. And, um... With this one, it was, uh, we didn't have any concept at first, you know, it was like, usually I'll get a bunch of riffs together, a bunch of basic song ideas, and then we would start talking about, well, what can we kind of do that would be different? And then, whatever it was, I was in the, you know, in my studio one day, cleaning or doing whatever the hell I was doing, fixing cables, whatever the hell it was, and, you know, I had my music player run in random, and, you know, it was like, the 300 came up, or the Matrix, one of them, and I'm like, that's fucking badass, you know, it's, that's pretty cool. So that's how that all started, you know. And then the next morning I went down and I had some riffs, different ideas I had, and I just started noodling around with different textures underneath. And then it was like, all right, let's 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 try to make this thing with the mechanical theme. And we started talking about lyrics, what we could do, man versus machine, and, you know, whatever, you know, whatever other things we could find and make that the concept, you know, or the theme. So I have been hearing that some of the themes you will be dealing with are man versus machine or how like we're going to be taken over by technology and whatnot. Yeah, man, I mean, we try to keep it kind of vague so it's not like all stupid, like giant robots, you know, something silly. But yeah, I mean, there's definitely a couple that are like the dark, apocalyptic, you know, machine battle kind of thing. And then there's some that are even like, um, 
just looking at today, you know, society with, you know, Russ, one of the songs, The Children of the Faceless God, he was noticing how fast the kids text, you know, and how everyone interacts digitally now, and just kind of, you know, talking about things like that, you know? Cool. Um, lastly, you know, I've always been kind of curious, progressive rock from the start has always gotten a little bit of backlash from like true to form metal fans, but at the same time, those who really want to move forward and say, progress, um, go nuts for it. Same is true for metal. What sorts of, um, I don't know, what sorts of debates have you had to have with people coming up in a progressive metal band, if you've had any? I don't think we've had no debates, anything like that. But it's like, you know, I think it's just your influences, you know? Like I grew up with, you know, like I said, Sabbath, Priest, started playing guitar because of Kiss, mm -hmm. you know, Maiden, Zeppelin, all that stuff. And I liked Rush, you know, and just different bands. I like classical music, you know. So to me, it wasn't like trying to do something that was so far removed than what I was used to. You know, it was just stuff I grew up with, you know. So, so I don't even think about it. I don't even think about it, you know. It's just part of the vocabulary to me. Cool. All right. Well, Mr. Romeo, thank you very much, cool, sir. Cool, man. Nice, bro. All right.